unforgiveness will kill you. Did you know if you have unforgiveness in your heart, it's literally like drinking poison. You're not affecting the other person, you're affecting yourself. When we forgive people, we're doing it for ourselves, we're not doing it for the other person. There's a few scriptures in the Bible that I wanna to bring to your attention, and it, they're really powerful. And one goes like this. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as Christ forgave you. That's in Ephesians 4, 31 through 32. Now, my dad used to preach a sermon a long time ago about the bench of unforgiveness. You see, when you have unforgiveness in your heart towards someone that did something wrong to you, whether it was recently or a long time ago, and you hold that unforgiveness and you don't let it go and you don't forgive them and you don't move on, you put that person on your bench and you put chains around them. And every person that you don't forgive, you add to that bench. And as you're pulling those chains and you're pulling that bench, it gets heavier and heavier and heavier and it starts weighing you down and weighing you down and weighing you down. And eventually you can't move and eventually it kills you. See, man, when we have those people on our bench, you know, and we, we forgive them, it's not that we forget and we, we erase what they did and, you know, what, what they did doesn't matter. It's that in our heart of hearts, we forgive them because we need to be living in a, in a free world, in a free abundance. We need to be living in grace. We need to be living in a, in a place where we can move forward without the burden of all that weight. Now, it's not one size fit all, and not everything can be totally reconciled, but there are a few thoughts that I wanna give you that will help you in the process of forgiveness. And sometimes, let's just be completely honest, it's not someone else that did harm to us, it's ourselves that did harm to us. And sometimes we need to forgive ourselves. Now, sometimes it's the, the biggest blockage in our life is something that we did that we aren't you know, embracing, that we aren't coming to terms with. Maybe we screwed a job up or we screwed a, a family member up or we screwed a marriage up or we screwed some, something up in our life that we are holding ourselves captive on that bench of unforgiveness. And sometimes... We need to forgive ourselves. One of the most powerful things you can do in the entire world is go stand in front of a mirror and look at yourself and say, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. And you tell yourself what you did wrong. And you say, I forgive you for what you did. And you name it. And you get it out in the open. And as you begin to forgive yourself, you're going to feel a release take place. But I want to give you four thoughts before we end this video. Four thoughts on how to process forgiveness and walk in a life of abundance. Number one, start by praying for the perpetrator, praying for the person that hurt you, praying for the person that offended you. Again, it could be yourself. Pray for yourself, but pray for that person that hurt you long time ago, recently, last week, yesterday, today. Pray for them and know that your pain is real. What you're going through is real. Okay, identify the pain that you're going through, embrace it. Don't try to hide it or get rid of it. Embrace that it's real, but pray for the person that hurts you. Number two, ask God for help. Ask God for help. Look up scriptures that have to do with forgiveness. Look up scriptures that have to do with Christ first forgiving us. That's why we need to forgive. Number three, try and try again. Sometimes forgiveness doesn't just happen on the first shot. Sometimes you need to go through the process over and over and over again. But there will be a point where you will be released from that unforgiveness. Now don't get me wrong. Forgiving is not justifying what took place. You still deserve to grieve. You deserve to sit and recognize that you were hurt. But listen, forgiveness is the most powerful thing that anybody could do, whether you're religious or not, whether you follow Christ or don't forgiveness will set you free in the long run. You'll have a better life. You'll have a better business. You'll have a, be have a better family. You'll raise your children in a better way with forgiveness in your heart. So sit today and think about all the people that have done you wrong. Take out a piece of paper and write all their names down. Write what they did to you down and go through each one of them and say, I forgive you for this. I forgive you for that. I forgive you for this. Now, 
You can also make sure you set boundaries and you keep yourself protected from further hurt and further pain. And if you need to cut some people off in your life, by all means, you need to cut those people off. But my friends, live a life of freedom and you find freedom in forgiving others and forgiving yourself. With that being said, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. Make sure you share this to your social media profiles and uh, share this with a few friends. Do the whole YouTube things that you're supposed to do on this video and make sure you live well. You laugh louder because laughing is important and you learn to be a better you. I love you and I appreciate you.